Universal Home Entertainment did send me over a copy of Freaky for review. I did post an unboxing of this already. If you'd like to check it out, just search for Freaky on my channel. Now this one was called Freaky. They kind of shortened the title, you know, kind of reminds you of that movie Freaky Friday. And uh, this movie, uh, at least one of the days is a Friday too. But instead of being kind of a silly, uh, comedy. This is more of a horror comedy. So there is this uh, serial killer and he strikes, I can't remember what it was, like every uh, homecoming or something like that. And then there's this young kind of frail uh, teenage girl who's not real popular and not real liked. And he tries to kill her with some special dagger and some sort of thing happens and they switch bodies. They wake up the next morning and she's in Vince Vaughn's body as a serial killer and he can now serial kill people in a young teenage body. <laughs> Very good uh, idea for a movie. I think, um, you know, people are really uh, excited for this one. For me, I feel like they could have really just taken it to another level. Um, you know, when, when the serial killer is in the girl's body, he doesn't kill a lot of people. There's just some, some pretty cool uh, kills uh, for sure but I feel like they could have done more. Like this should have been a bigger focus of the movie. And then again to the serial killer and the t uh, <laughs> and then the girl in the serial killer body, you know, Vince Vaughn kind of acting like he's, he's a teenage girl. And it was funny. I think, I just think they could have done more. Like it just, to me, they just didn't expand on it quite enough. Um, I did enjoy this one a lot. I thought it was a fun movie, a really great idea, but I just feel like they could have taken it uh, much further. Uh, so I did enjoy this one quite a bit though, guys. I gave it a three and a half out of five.